Hey guys, today's upload will be a little different from the usual Yu-Gi-Oh! duels you get to see on my channel. Because today the new ban list was released and I wanted to share some of my opinions on this list with every one of you. As you have noticed, I didn't upload a video of me talking about some ban list predictions and that is because I find Konami too unpredictable and it's really hard to look into their minds and tell what they'd like to limit or ban. So for now, let's have a look at the list together. First off, we'll have a look at the cards that have gone from unlimited, semi-limited and limited to forbidden. First off, in the monster section, you will not see any differences. No additional monsters re received the ban from Konami, so that's already quite nice. If we look at the spell cards, we can see that only one card has joined the forbidden pool, and that is Dragon Ravine, or Dragon Ravine. A lot of people wouldn't have expected Dragon Ravine to get a ban, since this ban actually kills both pure Dragon Rulers and Dragoonity's builds. But Konami is giving us some love and they really want, and they really want to tell us that uh, they want to kill dragons. And banning Dragon Ravine is a very nice move. And yeah, it really tells us that Konami wants to see a format where Dragon Rulers don't top. So, if we look at the trap section, uh, we can already see a confirmation of that thought. And we can see that some new cards have joined here. Two of the cards that have joined this trap section won't be a surprise to many of the people, but return from the different right dimension, the instant win game card for Dragon Rulers, and Sixth Sense, the draw 5 or 6 cards, as said by everything that it's too overpowered, are finally gone from the game, so I think we can understand why Konami banned these cards. At least they gave us a couple of months so that we could play around with Sixth Sense, but we could all, all, all of the people that um, play the game really saw it coming that Sixth Sense wouldn't live too long in any format, so it's acceptable for Konami to let us play with the guard for a couple of months and then ban it. Now the last card that got banned is Self Destruction Button. I don't think a lot of people have seen this coming, but if you ask me, Self Destruction Button is one of those troll cards that can fit in only a few couple of decks but those decks can really troll around and be annoying and Konami wants this to be a fun format thus it really decided to get rid of annoying cards and Self Destruction Button being one of them kinda yeah got screwed here so Konami clearly wants us to play around in a format that's fun with a lot of diversity so therefore they basically kill dragons by hitting Ravine and that's not all, they also killed some more cards, but we'll see that in this next section. So let's move to the limited section. If we look at the monster section first, we immediately see that the big dragons, Blaster, um, Redox, Tempest and Tidal, that they are limited to one. Also, Debris Dragon got its share and it got limited from two to one. So, this is also the direction that Konami is wanting to underline. Um, Dragon Rulers have to die the next format. People are so annoyed by the fact that Dragon Rulers stop clearly everything. So, Konami wanted to do something about it. And also, if we skip the other cards for a second and we look at the spell section, we can also see that Sacred Sword of 7 Stars is also receiving its limitation to 1. So, Really, if you guys don't get it yet, dragons are dead. Any dragon vine build, blue eyes, dragoonities, pure dragon rulers, they're all dead. Maybe some dragon rulers uh, light sword can be good, because if you run the dragons in one, they can be viable in some way, but I wouldn't bet too much money on it um, that they will top in this next format. Okay, um, I find it kind of sad that 7 stars had to go, because this card was pretty versatile and it could be used in multiple decks that pack level 7 monsters. So I think limiting to 2 would have not been a great deal. Um, that's what I think in my humble opinion, but really who am I to discuss with Konami? So there is one more card that has come back from Forbidden to Limited, and that is Magician of Fate. Where is he? Okay, here he is. So, Magician of Faith. I think Konami has made the right move to limit Magician of Faith because I don't think it will do much in the current format, and with current format I mean the January 2014 format. 
flipping up monsters is considered quite slow and even though the format has slowed down with the uh, banning of the dragons I think I don't really think that Magician of Fate will contribute that much so um, in my humble opinion I think Magician of Fate it's a nice addition especially if you're running spellbooks and spellbooks will be one of the bigger decks next format but I think at one it's no problem I even think at two it's not even a problem but hey we'll have to wait for that for this uh, format to see how Magician of Fate does if we then move on to the um, green section to the spell section we already discussed Sacred Sword of Seven Stars but we also see Divine Wind of the Mist Valley right here. Um, I think here that Konami really didn't want Harpies to be trolling around too much. So I think they just limited this card as a precaution. Next we see Final Countdown getting limited. This basically is the same story as they did to Self Destruct Button. Final Countdown is one of those pesky little troll cards that nobody likes. And it can only be run in some of the decks but example you're going to a, a Yu-Gi-Oh uh, championship series and you're packing a very cool deck that you love to play and you have to play against the guy who's running final countdown it's not really an interesting match because the guy only uh, is wanting to stall you out um, so yeah what I think is that um, let's continue let's check here if I'm recording okay I'm recording <laughs> never mind um, okay so what I was saying I don't think you wanna face that kind of guy since it can ruin the game for you um, and it will ruin the good time you're having. So I never really liked facing final countdown decks or stall decks or burn decks in general. Um, but hey, it's a, it's, a, it's a play style as another. So I think Konami just wanted to limit the amount of troll decks around. So that's probably why final countdown got hit. Anyway, then last but not least, we have Spellbook of Faith. And I think this is more than correct because in this next format, uh, spellbooks will be viable again and I think that Spellbook of Fate is uh, a big part of the success that spellbooks have so limiting that card to one is a very big deal for spellbooks otherwise they would have just been too good I think um, so yeah I think this is only logical if we then look at the trap sections um, trap section whoa my English you can see that nothing has really changed there so Without further ado, we can go to the semi-limited section. And what we see here is that only two cards have joined this section. And those cards are Chaos Sorcerer and Lone Fire Blossom. Now, Chaos Sorcerer got back to two. This basically means that Twilight is a little bit more viable again for a couple of reasons. First off, the format will be a lot slower. So you can wait for Sorcerer to come out of your deck. Second, a lot of zombie cards will return, and as you will see later on this video, uh, so it seems, uh, as you see later on this video, um, zombies will return. So it seems like they're promoting people to run Twilight. Next and final card that got back to two is Lone Fire Blossom, as you can see right here. This is only logical because a lot of new plant support has been released with Malias, and some more support will come out in Legacy of the Valiant. So I think they're promoting us to buy the new set. So Konami, you just love the money. Anyway, we'll end up, uh, we'll end this video with the cards that are no longer on the ban list. First off, we have Archlord Krista. I think this is fine because it didn't do much uh, the previous formats. Next is very interesting. Both Plague Spreader and Mizuki uh, both uh, Mizuki and Plague Spreader Zombie are back to three. Um, they were talking about a zombie apocalypse and I think this might be true but anyway we'll just have to wait to see how the format evolves zombies can be pretty trollish but on the other hand they're fun to play as well so let's see how that evolves TG Striker has come back to 3 he was semi limited so maybe we'll see more TG stun again in a much lower format one surprise is that Tour Guide came back, so Tour Guide from the Underworld. Um, and this is another example of Konami trying to promote these slower decks by inserting some speed through Tour Guide. So this also contributes to the fact that you can run Tour Guide in light based decks, running Arshold Krista for example, um, thus promoting you to run Chaos Sorcerer and such, so it's kind of a vicious circle. Then next up, 
Constellar Ptolemy M7 has gone off the list, finally, I think this is only logical. Um, and yeah, this also promotes Constellar decks, so Konami is pushing us in some certain directions with the zombies, with um, the Constellars and such, limiting the dragons, I think they really want to push us to some point where other decks, much slower control based decks are more viable. And finally, um, the most important thing and the most amazing thing for me is that Fire Formation Tanky has gone to 3 again. Wow, guys. Wow. I must say I'm a very, very big fan of Bujins. And with the new Bujin support that is going to be released in the near future, first in Legacy of the Valiant, I think Bujins have a very good chance to stand out in Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship Series. So I think they're just going to be awesome. Um, this maybe uh, means that in the next set they're going to make like Bujingi Hare and some other Bujin cards in a very high rarity because they won't make us that easy to play Bujins. But anyway, Tanky also supports the uh, Constellar deck uh, which was already good two formats ago. So I think Constellars will also be a very, very hard matchup to face in this next format. So guys, this was me talking about the ban list. I hope you liked it. It was something different for me. I never did something like this. So if you ask me, the top tier decks of the next format are most likely going to be either Zombies, TG Stun, maybe some 4Xs, Fire Fists. But what I think that are going to be tier 1 definitely are Constellars and Bujins. Honest, didn't get a ban. Crane is still at 3. Some new support is coming out. I think Bujins are just going to be so good. Um, this is my humble opinion, so don't hate me for it. Um, on the other hand, I'd like to hear everyone else's opinion on this list. So people, discuss in the comment section below and let's talk about this list together. You can find the link to the forbidden list in the video description below. So look there if you want to check out the list yourself. And stay tuned for more Yu-Gi-Oh! related content in the near future. Bye guys and enjoy this new format. Let the testing begin.